Transformers 5, baby.最后的骑士中，我们将会再次遇到变形金刚系列当中许多最受欢迎的人物，比如说我们的乔什·杜哈明所扮演的威廉·诺克斯中校。那在变形金刚三当中呢，我们曾经看到他是如何与汽车人一
nobody knows what he's doing. But when I saw the movie, yeah. it's like, oh wow, that yeah. works. Yeah, well, nobody knows he's what he's very... doing, including us. Most of the time. <laughs> Even you know, he, keep, he keeps it all right in here. He's like a mad scientist, and I think it keeps us all on our toes. He wants us to sort of stay open, and for, mm -hmm. as an actor, it's good because you have to sort of prepare. just be ready to react. Yeah. You can prepare as much as you want, but it's never going to be what you think when you get on set, and you just kind of got to be ready for anything. Yeah, he's a very talented director, yeah. so how was it working with him? It's fun. You know, Michael Bay has this reputation that he's tough and he's mean and he's all these things, but he's really not. He's, I have more fun working with him than anybody. You know, he likes the idea that people think that he's this and that, he sort of plays into it, mm -hmm. but he's, he's a big pussycat, he's easy. <laughs> he's all bark. How's the handsome captain in this new movie? I'm a colonel now. He does well, you know? It's a little bit ambiguous as to what side he's on. The operation is over. We're not giving up on Prime, okay? He's working with a unit that's sort of trying to eradicate uh -huh. any Transformer. Uh -huh. Or at least that's what we're led to believe is that he's part of this international task force that is trying to get rid of all of them. We don't want them here on Earth anymore. But he knows the difference. He knows that the Autobots are, are uh, good for good. Yeah. And the De Decepticons are the ones that are causing all the trouble, so. So you're a good guy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, but he's been a little bit affected. He's been working with and against these things for several years now, and truthfully, they've caused more havoc than anything else. So I think that, you know, he just wants peace. And you mentioned there's a big action did you do any special training for that? Yeah, for sure. I'm 10 years older now than I was when we first started. And I remember on the first one, it was really physical. And I wanted to make sure that coming into this one, I was going to stay healthy and not get injured. And, and that's really what I focused on, was getting as strong and as flexible as I could. So you train? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm trying to be strong all the way through. It's hard to keep up with Wahlberg. <laughs> that guy is a beast. He gets up at 3 or 3.30 every day, works out, and then comes and plays golf before work. I would work out in the morning at three o'clock, and then I would come here at six o'clock, and I would run the golf course. So I'd hit the ball and then run to it as fast as I can. Just and like run the whole out. course, yeah. And so after that, we go to do the six makeup? Months. Then, then we go shoot for 12 hours. He's crazy. <laughs> when, I first started, when, I, when I first started working with him, I was like, hey man, we gotta go golfing, you know, because we played golf before uh -huh. together. He goes, all right, well, we're getting up at 3.30 and we're gonna work out. And then we're gonna go, uh, we play golf at like, as, at the, when the sun comes up. I was like, you know what? I'll catch you on the weekend. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Calling all Autobots. Calling all Autobots. Do you have any favorite Autobot? My favorite Autobot? Well, my favorite Autobot was Ironhide, but he got killed in a third one. Ironhide! Protect Sentinel, get him locked up inside. Consider it dumb. You know, Bumblebee, Optimus, those are my son's favorites. My son is very much into the Transformers. Every time I talk to somebody on the street, he goes like, does Daddy, does she help you fight the Decepticons? I was like, no, he doesn't help me. That's just the guy that, he thinks I'm here fighting Decepticons. For real. He's three. So I'll just let him keep thinking it. Oh. Yeah. So adorable. Yeah. Talk about your wife. Yes. London, London, London. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, she... How come every time you come... Well, she's got a new album coming out, and it's amazing. When will you guys go to China to visit us? You know, I've never been to China. Oh, no? No, I'm dying to go. How about Fergie? Oh, she's been many times. She oh, loves yeah, for China. for the tour. Yeah, she loves China. She's oh, been several you. times. Uh, but I've never been able to go, and I've always wanted to. Do you know any Chinese word? Uh... No, you've never been no, there. No, teach me something. Teach, teach me something. I'm gonna teach you how to say Transformers. Okay. 变形金刚. 变形金刚. Oh, pretty well. That's good. 变形金�ang. And your son loves Optimus, which is 擎天柱. 擎天柱. That was good? Yes. <laughs> Autobots, roll out. We roll. We're right here at Luke Air Force Base, outside of Phoenix, Glendale, Arizona. And we're going to see some F-16s, F-35s, and God knows what else. It's a Michael Bay movie. Hey, you Talk about different locations you've shot in the UK and what made them interesting and the fun places to shoot. Well, let's see. 
The first thing we did was we went up to Wales. Oh, Wales. Which was beautiful. It was sort of the opposite of London. Sir Anthony was born there. He was born in Wales, right. You want to know, don't you, why they keep coming here? So is this a kidnapping or her first Transformer experience? It was both, really. And he was telling us he was in the army, like, not far from oh. Stonehenge. He was, like, just a few miles from there. Oh. So Wales, Stonehenge, which is something I always wanted to see. It's mystery in the world, right? So, yeah, it's a mystery as to how they got there. So naturally, it was an opportunity for us to explain how they got there. In this movie? Alien robots. That means Transformer did that? Yeah, this is all based on a true story. Yeah, that might make sense, yeah. because nobody can explain. You know, how else would those giant stones get up there? Right. Two worlds colliding. Only one survives. Anywhere else? Newcastle was beautiful, and a lot of these big battle scenes and stuff we shot in Detroit. A lot of the stage work that I did was in Detroit, but I worked in Wales, I worked in Newcastle, Stonehenge, some amazing castles, and oh, Isle of Skye, which is amazing in Scotland. Beautiful, right? Yeah. So you're gonna go to the cinema to watch this yes. new movie? Yeah. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Thank, Thank you, you so Betty. Much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I wanna stay, and I wanna fight them. What was that? That was a mistake. That's a wrap, baby. 能够见到乔什杜哈明回到变形金刚系列，真的是太棒了。那我呢，也是等不及想要看到他的角色威廉重返荧幕。千万不要忘了去影院观看我们的《变形金刚五：最后的骑士》。